And I mean, and then on Tesla, I, I mean, Tesla is obviously, I mean, from, from our, from my vantage, it's a huge success. I mean, it's, I mean, what do you think is, is in, in that, in, well, well, one, I mean, I'll ask kind of the same question. What did you think, you, you know, this is something that GM and Toyota and these massive multi-billion dollar organizations yeah. have been trying, you know, what gave you the confidence to kind of pursue it? And, and now that it, it seems to be a, a huge success, wh where do you think this industry is going to be in the next five, 10 years? Um, yeah, so with, with Tesla, the goal is to try to accelerate the advent of sustainable transport. Um, I think it would happen anyway, because just out of necessity. Yeah. But um, because we have an unpriced externality in the cost of gasoline, yeah. um, we we're pricing in the environmental effects of CO2 in the oceans and atmosphere, uh, that, that's causing um, the, norm, the normal market forces to not function properly. And so the goal of Tesla is to uh, try to act as a catalyst to accelerate um, the, those sort of normal forces, the, the, yeah. the normal sort of market reaction that would, would occur. Yeah. Um, we're trying to have a catalytic effect on that. Yeah. And, and try to make it happen, I don't know, maybe 10 years sooner than it would otherwise occur. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's the goal of, of, of Tesla. So that's the reason we're making electric cars and not any other kind of car. And we also uh, supply powertrains to Toyota and to Mercedes and, and maybe to other car companies in the future to um, accelerate their um, uh, production of electric vehicles. So, so, that, so that, that's, the, that's the sort of goal there. And so far, it's you know, working out pretty well. I mean, I just saw a news report earlier today that y'all are sold more t Model S's than uh, y'all are leading that segment of, of the industry, that the Mercedes S-Class, the BMW 7 Series, or the, the Lexus uh, right. LS 400 or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, actually, that, that seems to be the case. Um, <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize they sold so few cars in that segment. That's Because um, <laughs> <laughs> we don't sell that many cars. Right, we sell right. 5,000 yeah. a quarter, you know, 20. Well, out here they seem like, you know, every yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, well, like this is our home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this our home team, you know. Um, so it's, uh, we, be, we better sell out in the Bay Area. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're like, we're no, but that's, and, and, and well, I mean, it's a similar thing. I mean, what, what, how did you start? What gave you the confidence? And, and I mean, do you, do you see yourselves? I mean, as kind of a major automotive mainstream brand in, in five, 10 years, uh, all the way down to kind of the, you know, the competing with the Honda Accords and Civics? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, our goal is not, uh, it's, it's not sort of to become a brand, big brand or to compete with uh, Honda Civics, uh, but rather to advance the cause of electric vehicles. Mm. So. We're just going to keep making more and more electric cars and driving the price point down until the industry is very firmly electric. You know, like maybe half of all cars made are electric or something like that. Which is not to say that we expect to make all half of all cars. We, we, we want to just have that catalytic effect until at least that occurs. And I think at the point at which there's, you know, we're approaching half of all new cars made are electric, then I think that's, I would consider that to be kind of the victory condition. Wow. Um, and, and the, so the faster we can bring that day, the, the better. Um, wow. When, when would be your guess when that happens? Um, well, I made a bet with someone about three years ago that it would be sooner than 20 years. So it's 17 years from now. But, I th but that's, I think, I, I, that's conservative. I think it's probably, you know, maybe maybe 13 or 14 years, something wow. like that. Right, right about it's the time. Happen, like, right, right when we're going to Mars. <laughs> it'll, right. it'll, it'll be, be, it'll we'll be exciting, kind of exciting times. Yeah. <laughs> it's really True. Those, yes. those, it just could, yeah, exactly. Oh. I was just thinking about that. It was like, oh, those time frames are kind of coincident. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the nature of, of new technology adoption is it tends to follow an S-curve. So, so what usually happens is people underpredict it in the beginning because yeah. people tend to extrapolate on a straight line and and then they'll overpredict it kind of at the midpoint and because there's, there's late adopters right. and then, you know, it, it, it'll actually take longer than people think at the midpoint, but much shorter than people think at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, but I'm pretty excited about how things are going. It's, um, in, in fact, I think, I think that the, the pace of technology improvement is in, in, in energy storage, electric, electric energy storage is, is really moving faster than anyone thinks. Wow, wow. Yeah. I got one, one more. What are we doing on time? Where's Esther? Nine o'clock. Oh, nine o'clock. So how much time do you have? We, I want to make sure uh, people... Well, I guess maybe another 15 minutes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I'll finish with one last question, and then we'll open it up. 